Hey guys! So, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I dyed my hair. Well, just warning you, I am not editing this video. But before anything, I dyed my hair and it is now a dark auburn color and I love it so much. Yeah, it looks so nice. But, um, this is going to be a review video on the Dior Dior Show Mascara. And, um... Yeah, so I've been using this for about two weeks now, and it's really, really great. I've already done a um, a review about it on Sephora.com, so I mean, if you want to go look at this. But um, the only reason why I bought it was because I got um, money as a party favor at one of my friend's birthdays, and we went in um, one of my local humongous malls, and... Um, we were running out of time and I said, oh, well, I really need mascara. So I ended up buying this really expensive mascara because one of my friends said it probably would look good. So here's the brush. It is friggin' humongous. Look at that big fat thing. And, like, look at it compared to your eye. But, um, I would not recommend this for people first starting out with makeup because of the fact that the brush is so big and it's rather hard to control. But if you're a person who's, like, you know, loves to wear makeup, wears it all the time, has no problem with a big fat brush, then I totally recommend this because I think the brush does wonders. I'm wearing the mascara right now. Let's see if you... Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah, hold on my eyelashes look like they look really like long and this is mainly a volumizing mascara but it does wonders for the length of your eyelashes so um yeah i really like this a lot and um for the record you guys have seen on my videos my eyelashes are very short and rather um rather wispy and kind of i mean they're not too sparse but i mean they're not that thick and so therefore um, this actually did me in very, very well. Um, the formula is great. It stays on. It does not flake. I mean, unless, of course, you sit there and, like, rub it. Obviously, it's gonna flake. But, um, and this is in the color number 90, and I think that's noir black. I'm pretty sure. But, um, and, okay, most of all, out of everything, the packaging is just so cute. And it smells like roses. I mean, I've heard from other reviews before I bought this that um, it bothers some people, the smell of it, the rosy smell. Um, personally, that doesn't bother me. If anything, I really, really enjoy the smell of it. And I was going to do a demo on this, um, but I already have makeup on. And I don't feel like taking it off and then doing a demo for you guys. So, um, but... I mean, you could probably find a demo for this somewhere, I mean. But this is how it does on my eyelashes. As you can see, they look very nice, very voluminous, very long. Um, I would prefer this as a volumizing mascara over a lengthening mascara. And um, it does hold a curl, for the record, for girls who are like, I don't know. And as far as the formula goes, um, it's not too dry and it's not too wet. And as far as the brush goes, see how there's no clumping on that brush? That just makes it even better. It just makes it easier for you to get a nice, even um, application on your eyelashes, which, you know, everybody loves no clumps, right? So, um, I hope you guys like this review, and I'm sorry if it's too long on one mascara, but this is a great mascara. I'd probably give it four and a half out of five stars. I loved it. It was $24.50, um, but it was worth every single damn penny, let me tell you right now. So, um, I hope you guys like this review, and I'll be coming with you soon, yeah, coming to you soon with new tutorials and whatnot. So, um, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!